The Polaroid Now. This thing's been out for a little while, and since its release last year, does it still hold up? Is it still worth picking up? Let's find out in today's video. Let's have some fun. You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. Currently, Polaroid offers three cameras in their lineup. The Polaroid One Step Plus, the Polaroid Go, and the Now. You can see a full breakdown of the Polaroid Go. I did a video on it not too long ago. Link is in the description. And consider subscribing to see my full review on the One Step Plus, which is coming soon. The Polaroid now retails currently for $99 and uses the iType 600 film. And for all you longtime viewers of the channel, you guys and gals know I tend to lean more towards the SLR folding cameras over the box type cameras, but that doesn't mean that these are not fun to use or bad cameras. But the main reason I tend to shoot with the other cameras is because of the lens. The Polaroid now has a plastic lens and gives good images, but not as sharp as a glass SLR camera. Same goes for you know, the viewfinder. You don't get to look through the lens. So framing can be slightly challenging depending on what you're shooting, of course. Now it does have a battery built in and you charge it via USB micro, which allows you the use of iType film since the film doesn't have a battery in the film pack uh, and you can get about roughly 100 120 photos it's pretty good it also has a few neat features packed in like double exposure mode self timer and a digital frame counter a flash and autofocus the autofocus is zone focusing however all this really means is there are two fixed lenses in the camera uh, and it chooses based off of the distance you are from the subject it has a standard 103 millimeter and a portrait lens at 95 millimeter but again you can't choose this manually it will choose it for you it also has an auto light meter it will choose the shutter speed for you based on how much light is in the scene but you do get exposure compensation plus one and minus one uh, so that is a neat option as well now, something that's worth noting about the flash, uh, if you take a picture with the flash off, it will reset to on for the next one automatically. So keep that in mind. Sorry, you seen a butt in real quick. I want to remind you that there is a monthly, yes, every single month, print club uh, going on right now. Yeah, I send out photos every single month. They're signed, they got cool little facts about the photo and fun little designs. And you will not be able to get these anywhere else. Plus, in addition to this, you also get fun bonus content behind the scenes and you support the channel. So if you're interested, consider check the link in the description below. Now, back to your regular scheduled programming. So the big question is, is this camera any good? Well, yeah, totally. This is an awesome camera. But I guess the bigger question would be, who is this camera for? And I would say the person that wants to step into the Polaroid world, maybe someone that's already shot some Instax film and wants to that more classic look without the fuss. If you're someone that's just looking to buy their very first instant camera, however, I might steer you towards the Instax line just because of the film price. Polaroid iType film, which is what this mainly uses, is eight shots for 16-ish dollars. Meanwhile, Instax mini film is 14-ish dollars for 20 shots. And I tend to send people there first to see if they even like shooting instant film. And at the end of the day, I'm a Polaroid guy. I really, really like this camera and just shooting Polaroid in general, so I'm a little biased, I gotta say. But I definitely recommend this camera if you're looking to pick one up for yourself. I did leave a link in the description below. Now, get out there, make some art. 